I'm the guy whose job it is to travel around the world to momentous occasions and introduce interesting people. Let me ask you, Denver, is this a momentous occasion? Welcome to Larry Walker Weekend. Allow me to introduce Larry Walker's family. Father, Larry Sr. and Mother, Mary Walker. Larry's girlfriend, Donna Schepensky. Somewhere out there, daughters of Larry Kanan and Shayna Walker. <laughs> yeah, I went the wrong way. And now, the man of the evening, please welcome Numbers didn't drive him. 
He once took himself out of a game with the Rockies comfortably ahead and passed on an opportunity to hit a fourth homer in the game. The retirement of an athlete's number is the ultimate tribute to their impact on an organization and its fan base. The Rockies are closing in on 30 years of existence. They are developing a history, a legacy. When we visit other parks, we take notice. At Dodger Stadium, we see number 32 beyond the outfield wall, and we think of Koufax. In San Diego, we see the number 19 and think of the late, great Gwyn. Tony Gwynn. At Oracle Park in San Francisco, we see number 24 and know that it immortalizes yep. Willie Mays. Well, now at Coors Field, number 17 has company. Fans. Fans and broadcasters alike will look out to deep right center field and see number 33 and tell stories of Larry Walker, just as it should be. introduce our next speaker, I can think of no one better than Alan Roach. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome third baseman, number nine, Vinny Castillo! <laughs> Yeah, the Blake Street Bombers. Thank you. Good evening. For me, it's an honor to speak it tonight about one of the best right fielders that ever played the game. And one of the best players, or the best player I ever played with. Larry, I want to congratulate you for your induction in the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown and for the retired for the number tonight. You are the well, so I want to thank you. I want to thank you because with your game and greatness, you inspired a lot of people all over the world. But most, most important, you inspired a lot of people in your home country, in Canada. Most of the kids in Canada want to play hockey. But after you become a superstar with the Montreal Expos and an icon here with the Colorado Rockies, a lot of kids want to play baseball because of you. Thank you. Thank you for inspiring that many people. And for me, as a teammate, that was a great honor to share the field with you and watch you play every day. You are a 5 tool player, a real 5 tool player. And every tool show up full, in full force every night when you take the field. So thank you, Larry. Thank you for sharing your game and your greatness with all of us. And most important, share it with these amazing fans that come out and watch you play every night. Thank you and congratulations again. Vinny Castilla. Our next speaker is the original general manager of the Colorado Rockies. He helped lead them to that first postseason in 1995. He spent seven years running the front office for the Colorado Rockies, and tonight he comes back to honor Larry Bob Gephardt. Thank you, Drew. Uh, we're all here for a special reason, and that's to honor baseball. To oh yeah, number 33, <laughs> Hall of Famer Larry Walker. Larry, as most of you know, Larry's from Western Canada. 
where our hockey is a sport, and that was Larry's favorite sport, but he also played some baseball. Uh, I, when I was the uh, farm director in Montreal, I got a call from our Canadian scout. He said, I got a, a kid here, 18 year old kid, I, I like him a little bit. He's big, he's strong, he's rough, he's crude. But, <laughs> but I like some of his tools and I'd like to sign him. I can get him for $1,500. That was U.S. dollars, too. <laughs> I said, sign him and put him on a plane to Utica. And at that time, I called the manager, Ken Brett, and I said, you, you're getting a, a young kid our scout really likes, likes his potential tools, but he's rough. He needs a lot of instruction. Well, Larry was a hard worker, listened to his managers, his coaches, instructors, and improved each and every day. In 1989, 1989, after spending five, four and a half years in the minor leagues, Larry got the call to join the Montreal Experts, uh, where he started his 17 year star studded career. In the spring of 1995, we'd opened Forest Field, as beautiful as it still is. Uh, and Larry Walker was still with Montreal, but for financial reasons, they chose not to order, offer him arbitration. When I heard that at midnight, I made some calls. The next day, we signed Larry Walker to a multi-year contract. I felt, and, and he proved it very quickly, that he was a perfect member for the Blake Street Bombers, with Andres and Vinny and Dante and Ellis Burks. He fit right in. Larry was a Rocky for almost 10 years, and we all know what he did on the field, the thrill he gave us every time he played. But he was also very active in our community as he participated financially uh, with our Field of Dreams program. And Larry played a part of building six youth fields that are still there. After Larry had been with us for about a month, I was in Don Baylor's office with uh, Don Zimmer, and we were reminiscing about all the players we knew. And Don Baylor said, you know, Larry Walker is a five-tool impact player. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's a Hall of Famer someday. Thank you, Don, you were right. Few referred to it. After five years of waiting, which is required to get votes to be in the Hall of Fame, then he waited 10 years. And finally, finally they got it right. On September 8th, 